Okay, today we're gonna prepare some flounder. We will deep fry this. First, I have to clean it really good like this. It's kind of windy. We are in um, Florida and it's starting to look like it's gonna rain. So, so we have to be quick because we wanna cook it outside. Use a regular knife. Um, make sure you get all the scales out. Okay, so I cleaned this part. Let me get a. Let me wash it real quick. It's cold water, of course. Okay. Now we will flip it and clean this side and do the same thing. If you have the knife to scale fish, it's better, of course, but I don't have it. Okay. It's a huge fish. I think it's like five pounds. We got it from our local fish market. I think it was like $12 a pound. I don't know if it's expensive or not because we don't eat flounder that often. Usually we like to eat carp. Right? Okay. Now I'll wash it again. and then taking all of this out I like to keep it nice and clean by removing all the guts out. It's my stuff, it's the blood, so I'll remove it. Just stick your fingers real in, like all the way in and try to take out as much as you can. out because they may give you a bit of taste so I'll just take them out now and because it is a whole fish frying video I will keep the head on just for the video purposes but you can cut the head off if you want Please. I want it really good.
okay so we'll clean it make sure there's no blood okay now we will cut off the uh, these whatever you call them I forgot the scales if you have a scissor it's better it's easier but since I don't have any scissors right now I'll just use a knife make sure it's sharp if you want the looks you can leave these on and fry it as is so it will look different but I like to take them off. Just off on this side. You can cut the head off if you want, but just for this video, I will keep it on. Something is stuck here, I'll take it off. Okay, so this side is good, clean. I'll give it a quick rinse. We'll make sure that the fish fries good and fast. I think it's starting to rain, so I have to be quick. Same thing on the back side. Like that. Okay, now it's good, it's ready. Now we will cover it with um, salt make sure the salt gets all the way inside these cuts and then cover it with flour and fry it for like 10 minutes on each side until it's golden brown okay so now it's been cut we will sprinkle it with salt to taste and maybe you can hear the oil is getting ready, nice and hot. We will make sure the salt gets in everywhere, all the cuts. Okay, I feel like it needs a little more salt. Okay, now the other side. Like that. Okay. Now this is good, we will take uh, some black pepper and sprinkle it just a little bit. If you will like black pepper you can add more, 
but not everybody likes black pepper in my family, so I'm gonna add a little bit. Like that. So this is good. Now, now, uh, we will put it on flour, dip it, and make sure it's well covered. Like that both sides so it doesn't stick to the frying pan pot whatever you call it uh, we will take some flour and do it by hand in in the hard to reach places okay so it's covered all the way maybe inside the mouse right Now the other side. Yeah, don't be messy like me. I'm just trying to be quick because it looks like it's gonna rain. Although we have a roof on top, but still. So. Okay guys, the oil is hot. I'll lower it just a little bit. So it's on medium high and starting to smoke already. And I'll slowly place it. Be careful. Yeah, it's nice. Yes. Yeah. Really nice. Okay, we will cut it like for 10 minutes on each side, maybe less. On medium high. Of course, we have to make sure all the sides will be inside the oil. So, it's been like two minutes maybe. And as you can see, I think I was wrong. Maybe it's more than, it's not 10 minutes, maybe it's like 3 minutes. I'm trying not to break the fish and keep it in its form. I hope it's not going to break. Let me... Tail in. <clears throat> Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Wow. It smells delicious. Wow. It is awesome. The pot is a little small, but for the size of the fish, but it's doing a, it's doing an okay job. Wow, look at this. It smells so good. I really hope I don't break the fish. I want to keep it off. Well, the tail is starting to come off. That's fine. Okay, so maybe it's been like three minutes. So I'll try to flip it. I really don't want to because it looks like it's I don't have to, but let me just do it, just to make sure, but wow, look at the other side, come on, you see, I don't think I'm gonna flip it, because it's crazy, it looks crazy, and because it's been submerged in the oil like this, for like 3, 4, 5 minutes maybe, 
It looks really, really, really delicious and ready. I'll turn off the oil at the time. And I will slowly take it out. Well, it broke because the meat is soft and it cooked so good. Uh, it's coming out, the meat. But it's ready. Definitely ready. Okay, I turn off the flame. Now, praying inside silently. I'll hope that it's not gonna break when I come up and take it out. I really want it to be looking good on the plate. And let's go one, two, three. Ah! Damn it. I broke it, but it's okay. It's so soft and juicy. I mean, it looks juicy. It's so good. It's been a nice cooking with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I think this will stay on the bottom somehow. Um, I'm taking some bits out. Uh, and this is it. This is it. Look, it's ready. You will just have to squeeze it with lemon juice, some lemon juice on top and eat it with minced tomatoes mixed with garlic, minced garlic and I think you will love it. It looks delicious. This is so good. Wow. Um, guys, if you like, subscribe to our channel. We will try to make videos like these as often as possible. Um, if you have questions, comments, write them below. Um, again, thanks for watching and it's starting to rain and it's sun now. Okay guys, so I'll just squeeze some lemon for the, for, for the video. Um, this is how I would do it, like cut a whole lemon in, in half. Um, obviously the fish is big, that's why I'm trying to use two lemons and just squeeze it like that um, we aren't gonna eat the head but so squeeze it wherever the meat is and let it stand for like five minutes and then eat it with some rice tomatoes whatever you want whatever you want whatever you love to eat with fish sauce whatever you want so uh this is this is ready let me take one piece okay you see juicy tender ready perfect perfect fish perfect fish perfect weather as you saw in the video wonderful